Dear future doctors, today is 5th of July 2021. Now you are joining with the second IMAT discussion with www.sprintertest.com. Thank you for joining us on YouTube. Thank you for joining us with our Facebook groups. And I would like to thank uh, all the groups that allowed to post uh, this uh, discussion project. And uh, I would like to thank all the comments and all the likes. Uh, and I, I'm very happy to see that we are growing as a community and uh, we are progressing. I hope uh, these discussions will be helpful at the exam preparation and on the day of examination. Uh, without further ado, let's move to our first question from the logical section. We have Amnesty International. A non-governmental organization for the protection of human rights enshrined in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights opposes the death penalty. Now, which one of the following reasons for opposing the death penalty is inconsistent with the principles of AI? A. The death penalty can be carried out on an innocent person. The death penalty is contrary to theological principles. C. The death penalty is cruel, inhuman and degrading. D. The death penalty is not a deterrent against crime. E. The death penalty, once carried out, cannot be reversed. I will give you 5 seconds. Within these 5 seconds, you can pause the video and think of an answer. Then when you uh, play the video again, you can compare whether your answer is correct or not. And then we will discuss why this answer is correct. Your 5 seconds starts now. The correct answer, the death penalty is contrary to theological principle. In this kind of a question, we need to follow the elimination process. What is the elimination process? We have to go through all the answers and compare with the question itself. Uh, so one, we will find having a different uh, interpretation. In this case, we have the first answer as the death penalty can be carried out as an uh, uh, out on an innocent person so it's speaking regarding people here the death penalty is contrary to theological principles mm, it's not speaking about people it's speaking about something else the death penalty is cruel inhuman and uh, degrading okay this is speaking about moral issues and uh, the death penalty is not a deterrent against crime uh, against crime when it comes to crime it's again speaking uh, uh, about human rights and uh, once carried out cannot be reversed yes it is not reversible so uh, again it is uh, speaking about uh, human rights because when a human rights are, when human rights are violated it cannot be reversed right and between these two B and C what differs death penalty is cruel inhuman and degrading this is talking about moral principles right but these moral principles are again are addressing the human rights because cruel inhuman hu like it's uh, opposing the human rights so I we can say a, C, D, E has the same kind of an argument, but B itself speaking about theological principles, religion. But AI organization is not a religious organization which speaks about theological principles. So the answer is B. Moving to the biology question. Which property of water is most important when heat is lost from human skin? A. Dipole properties so salt can dissolve in sweat. B. High specific heat capacity. C. Latent heat of vaporization. D. Boiling point of water. E. Water density is greatest at 4 Celsius. Your time starts now. The correct answer is C. Latent heat of vaporization. Why? Because vaporization is an endothermic process. It requires heat to initiate the process. So the heat will uh, like the heat from our skin is absorbed by the water, the sweat, 
and it is vaporized. Therefore, uh, our heat on the surface will be reduced. A side effect of this is uh, the cooling sensation of the skin. And uh, therefore, this is important for loss of heat. Moving to the next question from the chemistry section. Consider the following list of particles, molecules, ions, single atoms. Which one of the following options correctly describes the particles that are present in an aqueous solution of sodium chloride? 1 and 2 only, 1, 2 and 3, 3 only, 1 only, 2 only. Your time starts now. The correct answer is 1 and 2 only. Why? When it comes to an aqueous solution, obviously uh, we have uh, sodium chloride and water. But before that, we will uh, simply discuss about uh, the definitions. What is a molecule, ion and a single atom? Molecule is a group of atoms bonded together. So molecule is a compound where atoms are combined together. Ion is an atom or a molecule with net electric charge. So ion is also an atom. but it has a charge. A charge should be present as positive or negative. And ions can be either molecules uh, or atoms. It doesn't matter. And when it comes to a single atom, we, we know the periodic table. We have all the atoms without any net charge. So it is obvious uh, the answer is molecules and ions. But uh, you might be having uh, doubts whether don't uh, we have any single atoms present in uh, an aqueous solution of sodium chloride no we have sodium ions chlorine ions uh, chloride ions and uh, sodium chloride molecules and water h uh, h h3 o plus sometimes and uh, oh h2 o we will discuss about these things later. Anyway, moving to the physical question. Mix a fixed mass of an ideal gas undergoes a change in which it is supplied with 3500 joule of thermal energy. At the same time, this gas does 3500 joule of work on its surroundings. What is this process? Adiabatic, isothermal, isochoric, isomeric, isobaric. Your time starts now. The correct answer is isothermal. In order to understand this question, we need to know about different types of uh, thermodynamic changes, thermodynamic processes. When we consider a system, usually a gas does the work in the system so when we consider this cylindrical system we can uh, imagine there is a gas in it and uh, the gas has a volume of v and the temperature of t pressure of p and we can see here uh, there is a piston present the cross-sectional area is a and when the gas expands, it expands by a small amount of distance, delta y. Okay, and it moves to the uh, direction of this arrow. When it is moving, the gas exerts a force of F. We need to know that uh, F is equal to PA. Remember this uh, equation we need in the next slide. Therefore, the, vo the work which is defined as capital W, delta W, is equal to F delta Y. W is equal to F delta Y. And we know F is equal to PA, so W is equal to PAY. And we know A, sectional area, uh, into uh, distance is equal to volume. Therefore, delta W is PV. We know uh, PV is equal to NRT, therefore 
W is equal to nRT. On the other hand, we need to know other two equations as well. But if you know this one, <laughs> you obviously know the second equation. In this equation, what it says is internal energy is equal to heat minus work. So in a system, uh, when uh, work is uh, minus by the heat, we can get the value of internal energy. Okay, let's keep these equations aside. Okay, now let's talk about different types of thermodynamic processes. We have four thermodynamic processes as adiabatic process, isothermal process, isochoric process, and uh, isobaric process. For isochoric process, we have two synonyms, isovolumetric and isometric. Mark this word because in the question, they have mentioned isomeric without a T. So they will uh, mention different different words in order to distract us, but we have to be very careful uh, not to get distracted and uh, find the correct answer. In order to answer, we need to know the meaning as well. These processes differ because of uh, different elements are being constant. In adiabatic process, the heat will be a constant. In isothermal process, the temperature or the internal energy will be a constant. In isochoric process, the volume will be a constant. Isobaric process, the pressure will be constant. Now, when we consider the adiabatic process, uh, we need to know that neither heat is entered to the system nor heat is exit from the system. But in this case, uh, it is supplied with 3500 of thermal energy to the system. So, obvious, this is not an adiabatic process. This is not an adiabatic process. When it comes to the isothermal process, we can see the temperature hasn't changed, but the, here the temperature is not equal to zero. The temperature hasn't changed and therefore the internal energy is not changed so the internal energy is zero because 3500 joules has been uh, supplied and the same heat has done the work on its surround okay and we'll see why isochoric and isobaric processes are not uh, the answers correct answers because uh, when the volume is a constant obviously uh, when the volume is a constant, obviously the work is going to be constant. When the pressure is a constant, again the work is going to be uh, uh, the work is going to be zero. When volume is not changed or pressure is not changed, uh, is zero. Uh, the work is going to be zero. So the work uh, have the work has uh, work has been done here. Work cannot be zero. In this case, so isochoric and isobaric processes are not the correct answers. Correct answer is isothermal process. Okay. For today, the questions are done. Never give up because great things take time. Hope to see you tomorrow. I'm Andrew Anthony Sami. Uh, join the Facebook group and uh, visit the website I have mentioned uh, in the descriptions. Have a beautiful uh, study session ahead.